Nick Cave is already looking at a 2020 signee is pushing for a starting position here in uh, Tyrick Austin Cave, who was the 26th rated inside linebacker, according to the 247 composite out of Camden, New Jersey. I got to think wholesome one. You talk about a wait and see situation. We don't have any tape on this guy against competition at this level. Right. And well, the biggest thing you can say about, guy. about, about TAC is his film screens effort. His film screens dog. But what these elite programs do is, yes, it's a competition. With this new rule, you can play in four games and still take a red shirt. But the best thing you want to do is put a red shirt on a guy that has dog in him. Because it's only going to make him want him even more. I mean, you let him play in some special teams every now and again. You let him get in games that he can come in and flash. But if you can put a red shirt on him and get him a year in the weight room, get him another year so then we pull up in 2021 and 2022 and he has that RS next to it, that's when you start talking about your big-time programs, your Ohio States, your Alabamas, your Clemsons, your Georgias. They give guys like that a red shirt, get them into a Division I strict and conditioning program, and let him earn his way through over time instead of throwing him out there on the field. And let's say he makes some mistakes, which he will. Let's say he misses some tackles, which is inevitably going to happen. You lose confidence in that guy as opposed to getting him on the sideline, get him in a strength and conditioning, making him work his way to it, and when he's ready to go step out there as a red shirt sophomore, he's going to be completely ready and chomping at the bit to fly out there and knock somebody's head off as the starting weak side linebacker because he's earned his keep up until that point.